I am going to remind you in advance that I am very sorry and I apologize for the inconvenience of me not giving a This is a sad, sad, sad goddamn story of why you can't trust the media to report exactly or accurate information of what happened. Just look at all these damn headlines and then watch this short video and then tell me what do they all have in common. In the headline and in that video, they keep using the word allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly what? We all know the ex-cop from Virginia drove to California. That is a long-ass drive from Virginia to California. Where did he end up? Did he have any family members in that area next to the house? No. That's actual facts. That's not allegedly. He drove from Virginia to California. That is fact. He was in front of a girl's house with a little girl. That we know is factual. Not a statement, factual. And we also know that he's an ex-cop that retired or resigned in October. Because of July of last year, just when he signed up for the academy. And then he graduated in January and then resigned in October. Those are actual facts. And he used his database, since he's a cop, to lower this little girl, lowered her, he's a grown ass man, lowered this little girl, whatever he, he fucking say to her in those text messages or online chat rooms. Whatever he did, this ex-cop did all of that. That is actual factual. But you guys in the media won't actually report that. That actually happened. And then he came here and the only part that we don't know exactly who killed her mom, her grandmother, and her grandfather. That is the only part of the story we do not know exactly what happened yet. Only that little girl knows exactly what happened. So that part, we can say allegedly. We don't know what happened. But the only factual information that we have is that the neighbor is the one that called 911. As soon as the house went up in flames, the neighbor called 911 and gave them the description of the guy and the car that he was driving. And that's how they found him. After they found him, they had a shootout that ended up killing him. So, if he was innocent, why are you shooting at the police after they pulled you over? Why? Can somebody, can the media explain that to me? Why is this guy shooting at the goddamn police if he's innocent, allegedly? That does not, that, that's the guy's favorite word. Why is he shooting at the goddamn police? Because he's fucking guilty. That's why. And I think people don't shoot at the police. That's what you got to tell us, black people and brown people. Why do we comply with the law? Why, why, why? But when you're quiet, all oh, the stories flip. The headline, or oh, they keep on changing to try to protect your own. Why? Just report he's an ex cop and he abused his fucking power to lower this little girl and find her address. And coming down here to do what we don't know yet until that little girl get her counseling because right now she is traumatized and she is fucked up in the head. Whew. She is fucked up in the head. So until we get the actual facts at that end, then we can say allegedly. But we all know that little bastard drove all the way from Virginia to California and he used his power when he was a damn cop to find this little girl's address and who knows what else. But just give it time. 
And when it comes out, you're going to say, oh, shit. Oh, that's going to happen. But I'm pretty sure when that information does come out, the media is not going to cover it. Fuck no, they're not. They're going to sweep it under the rug like you always do because he's a white man. A white man. And all your parents out there, I need you right now to go in your goddamn kid's room and ransack that shit jailhouse style. Start tossing shit around, talking to little bastards, and say, hey, do you guys have any online friends or people you talk to that have my actual address? Because I don't want to goddamn die, me being home, chilling. Next thing I know is I have a fucking stranger coming in my house, killing me and my goddamn family because of you. So right now, go in your kid's room, ransack that shit, cut off all the internet c connection, and make it old school. And have, a, and have a nice conversation with the kids. And say, hey man, we love you, but I don't love you that damn much for you to put my life and everybody else's life at risk. So either anything else that, in, that you have in your life that you want to talk about, I'm here for you guys. I'm here. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it before this shit get out of control. Catfishing somebody. Grown ass man catfishing a little girl. Why? There's a lot of, there is plenty of women your age and older legally that you can go after. Legally. There's a lot of women everywhere, man. Why? Why do this? Why go after a little kid, man? Why abuse your power? We like to know. Why abuse your power? So watch your kids and the pedophilia and you goddamn cops in the media get your shit together and report the goddamn facts. When you guys do wrong, accept it. Accept that your own people are doing this. So investigate your own damn department Make sure that you damn cops out there actually doing your goddamn jobs and not abusing your goddamn power. This is just a sad goddamn story.